Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a reading for Taurus for May 2022. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours. Leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. Um, at the end of April, we did have an eclipse. Also, happy birthday, Tauruses. We are in Taurus season. Um, we had like a solar eclipse. It was like in, I think, 20 degrees Taurus. Yeah, so we had that new moon going on, that energy. But uh, nonetheless, you know, Pluto going into retrograde, that rules the planet of death, transformation, and like childhood traumas. So your fears could be more enhanced. Um, you could be kind of feeling like you made a mistake or like you need to fix something. And that's all that Pluto energy. We also have Mercury going into retrograde very soon. But okay, Taurus, May 2022, one last shuffle, Taurus. Messages you guys need to know. So it's looking like right now, um, you could be living your best life and you have people that are spying on you and it's because they're missing you. Um, you know, orphaned. You're like part of their comfort zone. Uh, you make these people very, feel very at peace. And that's kind of why they're spying on you. They're wanting to fix this with you. Mending. All that glitters. You could be fixing your finances as well. Um, you guys could be making better choices when it comes to money. You guys are actually thinking like, do I really need this? Or like, do I just want it? Um, that could be something that you guys are doing. And it's just, uh, right now, that's just where you're being guided to be. Um, exchanging gifts. And it's that way you can help people more. And or people, um, again, past people could be coming back. You know, they could have been very materialistic. Like they thought they were above you or they could get better than you or just um, they wanted to raise their standards, you know, stuff like that. And that could have caused them to leave, you know, um, like they wanted to get better for themselves, not necessarily replace you with better. But with milk and honey and deep knowing, I feel like, um, you know, they know that you guys are a great match. You know, that you guys are a great team. Um, it's just having to get a grip on the, the emotions. So, this person could have had, like, where, again, they were just naturally very negative. And now that they could give better, they want to come back and be better with you. So, Taurus, May 2022. Last shuffle. Yeah, there's a lot of emotions here. The energy is gaining momentum. Emotions are running high. Uh, I feel like it was more with this person. Again, they were very negative or they thought they could get better than you or that they deserved better. And um, that could have just been pride, bring love into the situation. You know, uh, their pride was telling them that, that they could get better than you. But, you know, it's like that saying that they always say, the grass isn't green where you, um, on the other side, it's green where you water it. And with prosperity lies ahead, I feel like this person wants to put the work in with that mending here. It's like they feel like you guys could still work this out, even if you guys are not interested. Uh, this is just what I'm picking up. You know, uh, you could have humbled this person a lot. Your hard work is paying off. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo. You are good enough. Um, but you could have even left this person behind. Like you left them and it left them wondering, like, am I good enough? You know, maybe I need to humble myself. You know, I'm very lucky to even have Taurus. And that's something that they're kind of realizing too. Like they need to be thankful for what it is that they do have. Have faith in your dreams. If your climax approaches. You could also be thinking like, this person could get better than me. This person wants better than me. Like let them go get better. And have faith, okay? I feel like um, it's not like they want better than you. Like they want to replace you. It's like they know that you're like you have so much potential. They know what you're capable of. A new start is coming. Show the world the real you. I feel like um, there's kind of confidence issues here as well with poise and emotions are running high. It's like you could be living your best life, but for some reason there's doubt there. Like, um, I don't know. It, it could be issues stemming from childhood where it's like, uh, you were always the last person chosen. It's like self-worth issues in a way. Whether this is you or that person. As soon as you left them behind. You know they started to kind of feel like. Wait you know I'm very thankful to have Taurus. 
or this is you, you know, you felt like, like you weren't good enough for them, like they wanted better than you. And the truth is they want you. They just wanted a better life for themselves. Taurus, you versus them, May 2022. Uh, main female pathway. You're on the right path. Gift. You are a blessing and a gift to all those around you. I just feel like you're very judgmental uh, towards yourself for some reason. Um, or like even these people when they're going to come back wanting to fix it now that you've humbled them it's up to you you know whether or not uh, you want to allow them back into your life mature man I feel like uh, you guys are trying to be like head over heart decisions here you're trying to be reasonable and this person you know I feel like with this journey card they had some more things to learn than you you know I feel like um, this person could have been very judgmental towards Whatever you had to offer, Taurus, you versus them, May 2022. Or this is you, you know, you felt like, oh, I don't really have much to offer. But that's just to make you feel stuck. Because with the Four of Wands um, and the Two of Wands, I feel like, you know, you have a choice to have like a long-term commitment, a long-term relationship, a strong bond, a strong relationship with someone, even have like a house. Uh, right now, you guys could be taking it slow when it comes to love. And then the adjudication. Again, I feel like you're judging either yourself too harshly, this person too harshly. It's like there's still choices being made about whether or not you want to fix it with them, whether or not you want to live your life with this person. It uh, could be a Gemini. I'm like, did I split the deck? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, the Lovers, Page of Wands. Could be a Gemini. An Aquarius. But it's looking like there's a strong, you know, there's strong soul connections here that are going to be coming in uh, now that you've separated yourself from these people. And it's just, um, they still have hope that they could have another chance in your life now that they've become better. Um, it's like now that they've awakened to their own journey. Uh, there could be transformations that you're going through uh, with the people that you have around you. Like now it's like you're having, again, you've humbled these people. Now it's like they want to be better towards you. Main female community, high honor. It's like these people, again, you're a blessing to all those around you. And these people, it's like they feel like you're going to be successful and they want to be in your life for that. I mean, not only for that reason, but that is part of it. So with the Hierophant here, it's like they want another chance to commit to you or to like prove that they've learned their lessons. You know, it's like now these people just want to smooth it out. Could be a cancer. Uh, this person could be wanting commitment. Ten of Wands, you know, it's like they want to put the work in to have a, something stable with you. But it's looking like um, someone here is putting you on some pedestal. Or it's like you're on a pedestal right now for a lot of people. Like you're putting someone there or, you know, they see you as this person that's kind of high up. And there's a lot of people have a lot of feelings for you. That's why I would show the world the real you. You just need to be comfortable being yourself. You could be dealing with a Scorpio with the death card. The lover. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people that wanted to take stuff from you with all that glitter and the Seven of Swords. It's like these people could have um, had secret motives or something like that. And now it's like people are planning, uh, working on their emotions. It's like they're waiting for you to come back. These people could have been trying to play games with you, mind games. And now they've made up their mind. Um, they want to put the work into this. Could be a Leo. The musician, the tower. What's the musician in the tower? Taurus. I feel like... This person... You know, it's like... They could have... They probably weren't sure about what it was what they wanted, right? And now it's like... 
they're hoping that they didn't just waste their time here. Now it's like they're willing to take this slow with the temperance card. Could be a Sagittarius. Um, and it's like they want to keep moving forward. Two of Swords, it's just their heart's kind of closed off. So they have to work on their own emotions. You could be dealing with a Taurus as well. They just tend to hold back because of how they feel um, about like money and these mind games. Or it's like they like to try to manipulate because of their own insecurities. It's like they always feel like you're choosing between them and someone else. So they always play like these games. Could be like a twin flame. What's the three of cups? Seven of swords. To see if you really do want them. The justice card. Could be a Libra. Ace of wands. Ten of swords. But I feel like there's things that are still ending in order for new beginnings to come in. Uh, someone I feel like is going to eventually start speaking up about how they feel. With the queen of swords here. They're just still getting over a lot of things. Right now it's looking like you could be living your best life. Or this person is... What's the page of cups, page of wands, five of pentacles, ten of pentacles, four of nine of swords, seven of wands. I feel like things are just being balanced out right now. Their cycle's closing. Seven of wands upside down, nine of swords upside down. And you guys are just healing all that stuff. Healing the lies, the games, the being sneaky, the holding back, how you guys really feel. Uh, but just be careful. Like I said, I feel like there's people going to be coming in that kind of want to be in your life like they want to be successful as well and they feel like that's where you're going but i feel like these people um you know they had to get over a lot of emotions here for some reason it's like they felt like they could get better or like you deserve better and i feel like um now you guys are both being humbled you guys are both being logical you guys are both being reasonable you guys are on the right path. I just feel like you guys are being judgmental towards yourself or towards this person a little too much. We did it with a Virgo. Any other messages for Taurus for May 2022, the month of May? What's going to be happening? There's going to be quick changes uh, when it comes to love or issues um, with someone you have kids with or your own mother. Uh, it could be a living situation. Some of you guys could be moving out, getting your own place. Um, having your parents move in with you, three of pentacles, and it could be because of a relationship or a job. See, judgment with the main female. For some reason, someone is still making their mind up about someone else, or someone is going through karma because of someone else. See, four of pentacles on their side. So it's like, again, this person is holding back a lot. They're still completing cycles. It's like they weren't really sure what they wanted and now they kind of are for sure. They want something with you, but they're still getting over things. So they may not say that. Um, with the Ten of Cups, it's like if you guys work together, you guys would be happy too. But this is more like a friendship right now. The Judgment King of Swords. It's like someone has to speak up. King and Queen of Swords. Three of Wands. It's like someone's waiting for someone to be honest to say how they feel. It's like you guys are both working on having a conversation now that you guys have become the best versions of yourselves. I don't know, maybe you guys were younger back then or had a lot of things in the way and you guys couldn't really talk about how you guys felt. But now it's like there's a conversation that is on the horizon so you guys can have some sort of new beginning with each other now that you guys are the best versions of yourselves or just have a new beginning in your own life. Uh, where you guys are more stable financially. You guys have more money. Um, people that you're dealing with could be trying to save up money right now. You know, you're a little bit above them financially. Four of Wands, Page of Swords. There could be like a twin flame that's spying on you. Any other messages for Taurus? For May 2022. See, someone could be a little bit resentful, still healing stuff from the past, six of wands, king of wands, uh, about someone getting a lot of attention, and that could kind of piss someone off a little bit, like they're still mad about that. Uh, with the hermit card, they're still healing that. Queen of wands, the hermit, king of cups. But um, either way, I feel like you have...
people here that aren't saying how they feel or you're not saying how you feel but there is love there i just feel like balance is happening uh there's choices that are still being made and someone is like someone or these people are hoping that they could still have a chance uh to move forward with you in their life whether it's a commitment or to show you that they've learned their lessons uh but all right guys much love please take care of yourselves and i'll be talking to you guys later it's like this person always thinks you're choosing between them and someone else so they try to use manipulation i don't know all right much love guys please take care of yourselves namaste bye